Hey guys, and today we're gonna see how much stuff can fit into the trunk of the 2017 Hyundai Elantra. Alright, so the 2017 Hyundai Elantra, the one that I have here is the SE trim and if you do option for that SE trim, you can only have two ways to open up the trunk. So one way you can open up the trunk is with the key fob right here. If you do hold down on the hold button right there, it will unlock the trunk and pop it right on open. And also if you do go onto the driver's side, right on the floor, there is also a little latch that you can pull to open up the trunk as well. If you do option up for higher trims of the Hyundai Elantra, you can get Hyundai Smart Key access system for the trunk. I believe they call it Hyundai Smart Trunk. And if you're standing near the back of the trunk with your key fob on your person, the trunk will pop open. And also higher trims of the Hyundai Elantra will also have a pad under the Hyundai logo. So right here, under the Hyundai logo, this pad is pretty much useless. There's nothing, there's no really need for it, but in higher trims, this is going to be a button that you press and it'll open up the trunk. I would have really liked to see that button pad underneath the Hyundai logo as standard. I don't understand why Hyundai leaves that for higher end trims. All right, so let's open up the trunk of the Hyundai Elantra. So let's just hold this down and open it right on up now it will open up just about halfway which is a pretty neat feature i don't like how it just stays i like how it doesn't stay on the bottom it actually opens up and then you just lift it up the rest of the way so the hyundai elantra comes with a total of 14.4 cubic feet of space with the rear seats folded up so i'm going to get all of this stuff out of here and i'm going to show you everything in more detail all right, so right here you are going to be looking at 14.4 cubic feet of space with the rear seats folded up. Now, when you do compare this to its competition, it is going to be slightly smaller than something like the Honda Civic or the Nissan Sentra, which have cargo capacities closer to 15 cubic feet of space. But this is going to be a lot larger than something like your Mazda 3, Ford Focus, or Toyota Corolla, because all of those other competitors are going to be more around the 12 cubic foot and 13 cubic foot range. So this is going to be slightly larger than some of those entries. So looking inside of the trunk here, you are going to have this material on the walls. It's pretty much typical for every um, car in this class. They are going to have that sort of like felt like fabric material there. It's pretty hard and durable feeling. Now in here, we do have this rug here and this is an Elantra rug and it looks pretty neat in here. This is a dealer accessory. So if you do want this rug, you have to get that from the dealership. Now coming go under here, you are going to have that same material from the walls on here and then if you do pull this lever up you are also going to have a spare tire under here which is a pretty neat feature and right there you also have your wheel locks and the hyundai elantra also comes with a cargo net so the cargo net will pretty much hook on right here and you can store a few things in there as well and i really like that cargo net feature that is also i believe a dealer accessory now also to fold down the rear seats you are going to have to pull this lever right here and you're going to notice that your rear seats do not fold down because that's you have that's because you have to walk all the way around to the back seat let's open up the door and fold down those rear seats now that's pretty much the case in every competitor in this class pretty much every sedan is going to have that so that's not unique to just the elantra but at least they do allow you to fold down those rear seats in a 60 40 fashion you do have your 60 split there and your 40 split right there and the pass through in here is pretty decently large as well i like how you could actually pretty pretty much fit a um, a good amount of things in there the height is pretty large and the width is decent it could be slightly wider especially right there i would have liked to see a cutout in that area but overall the pass through here is pretty large and the trunk itself is one of the largest trunks in this class with exceptions to the honda civic and the nissan sentra 
All right, so now let's see how a pool noodle with a 5.3 foot length fits widthwise inside of the trunk of the 2017 Hyundai Elantra. So putting this pool noodle in widthwise, you are going to see that on this side, it is very close to the wall. But when you do come over to the left, you do have just about two to three inches of clearance here. And that is pretty good. So the pool noodle does fit widthwise inside of the trunk of the Hyundai Elantra. All right, so now let's see how it fits lengthwise. So you just have, I have that 40 section folded down and we're gonna see how this fits with the rear seat folded down. And that front seat is adjusted to my comfort up there. And as you can see, it has quite a bit of room here. It's actually pretty impressive as to how much room you actually do have left here. You could probably fit just about another one third of a pool noodle and a lot of that is going to go to the back seats having quite a great deal of leg room so that leg room is going to aid and if you are folding things down and fitting things inside they are going to fit a lot better lengthwise all right so now let's see how a 22 inch suitcase fits height wise instead of the trunk of the hyundai elantra so if we do put the suitcase this way you are going to see that if i do get to the side here you are going to see that it is going to protrude out ever so slightly right there at the very tip if you can see right there it is going to protrude out a little bit but let's see if this will close and the trunk is not going to close like that all right so now let's see if it is going to fit lengthwise now i was wondering maybe if I do pull out this carpet if it is going to fit so I'm gonna pull back this carpet and let's see if maybe the suitcase will fit because that carpet does raise up the floor ever so slightly all right so I just put it down you are going to see that it does seem like it fits a little bit better it is under that plastic seam so let's see if this closes and your trunk is not going to close just look at how close that is so unfortunately the trunk is not going to close on the hyundai elantra and i was actually expecting it to close especially since hyundai does proportion this rear end of the vehicle a lot taller and shorter than some of its other competitors a lot of its other competitors go for a more lower stance in the rear and a longer stance towards the back so they are going to have more rear overhang and they are going to suffer especially height wise i definitely saw that when i was reviewing the honda civic when i was reviewing the honda civic this suit case was protruding a whole lot more than what it is protruding here so the hyundai elantra is definitely efficiently packaged but unfortunately with my suitcase test it does not fit all right so now let's see how this suitcase fits lengthwise instead of the trunk of the elantra so lengthwise you are going to see that you have more than enough room here and you could possibly fit just about four or five more about four more of those suitcases side by side right here so the trunk is pretty practical in that measure also down here you are also going to see that this does curve in a little bit but the suitcase just sits under it so that also allows for you to stack more across now another thing that i did notice is that if you did for example fold down the suitcase this way you could possibly fit just about four of those stacked up and you could also still have all of this room up here in the front so this trunk is very efficiently packaged for the class all right so now let's see how many laundry baskets with a 17 inch diameter and an 11 inch height fit into the trunk of the hyundai elantra so let's open this on up and let's put in our first one, two, three, four, and five. And it looks like you can fit just about a total of five laundry baskets with the rear seats folded up. You can see that they are just right next to each other so there's no overlapping going on anywhere so they fit perfectly. And I really like how Hyundai does give you a pretty decent amount of height as well. You can see that right here, if I were to bring in the suitcase, for example, I could lay that suitcase right on top right here. So once again, Hyundai really efficiently packaged this trunk. It's not just angled in some strange way where you can't really fit anything in it. I really like how it's very squared off and overall the opening here is pretty large. And Hyundai also gives you a pretty neat helper handle right here. So you just pull on here and close on up the trunk. All right.
right, so now that we have the rear seats folded down, let's see how many of these laundry baskets can actually fit. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Let's start pushing these through. And you can see that they do fit through that pass-through right there, so that's a good thing. All right, six. Seven, eight, nine, and it looks like we could fit one more on the other side, right here, and ten. So the Hyundai Elantra can fit a total of ten laundry baskets with the rear seats folded down. Now, one thing I did want to point out is you are going to see that there is this seatbelt that does run all the way through. So as opposed to Hyundai mounting the seatbelt on the top of the seat, they do mount the seatbelt to the back up here. So it is going to be a little less practical than some of its other competitors, especially if you're storing long things in here. You do have to keep in mind that the seatbelt that seat belt can possibly be in the way. On the sides though, they do put the seatbelts right flush on the side so they are unobtrusive but that center one is a little bit distracting well that's it for this cargo review comment and tell me what you would like to see in future videos don't forget to like subscribe and share this is marcus and thanks for watching drive and be driven keep it positive and i'll see you next time You can become a Drive and Be Driven driver today. Just simply click the subscribe button and you will become a part of the Drive and Be Driven circle. Subscribing will allow you to stay up to date with the Drive and Be Driven YouTube channel. Thank you to all of my current Drive and Be Driven drivers for driving me towards my goals and dreams. Stay subscribed for more awesome videos like this one.